Hello, my name is Chris Rowe, and this is a video for Lesson 29. So let's get started. Convert fraction to decimals. So let's try number one. One over two. So in order to convert this fraction into a decimal, we're going to have to change the denominator to 100 by multiplying. In this case, we're going to multiply 1 over 2 by 50 over 50, which gives us 100 over 50. And now that we have a denominator of 100, it's easier to convert, convert it into a, a decimal. So 50 over 100 is equal to 0 0.5. Let's try number 2. Over 5 times 20 over 20 gives us a denominator of 100. So we get 80 over 100, which is 0 0.8. Let's try 3. 3 over 20 times 5 over 5 gives us a denominator of 100. So we get 15 over 100, which is 0 0.15. Multiplying decimals. Let's look at number 1. 0 0.06 times 0 0.9. 6 times 9 is 54 and 0 times 0 is 0 0 times 0 is 0 so we have if you look at the multiples we have three numbers right to the decimal point which means that we should have three numbers right to the decimal point for our answer two. so we're going to add a decimal point between the zeros and that is our answer for number one 0 0.054. Let's, let's try 6. 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. 3 times 3 is 9. 0 times 0 is just 0. So we have two numbers right to the decimal point, which means we should have two numbers right to the decimal point for our answer 2. So we'll put a decimal point there and a 0. So we get 0 0.09 for 6. List of factors for each number. So let's try number two. So what we're going to do is list the numbers that can div or list the whole numbers that can divide 84. And the first one is obvious. One is a factor for all numbers. So one times 84 is 84. So one and 84 are our first two factors. Let's try 2. We know that 2 times 42 is 84. The 2 and 42 are another factors. Let's try 3. 3 times 28 is 24. Let's try 4. 4 times 21 is 84. So they are another factors. Let's try 5. When we divide 84 by 5, we get a remainder of 4. So that means 5 is not a factor for 84. Let's try 6. When you divide 84 by 6, we get 14. So 6 times 14 is 84. So 6 and 14 are, are factors. Let's try 7. 7 times 12 is 84. So 7 and 12 are also factors. Let's try 8. 84 divided by 8 
gives us a remainder of 4. So 8 is not a factor. When we try dividing 84 by 9, we also get a remainder. So 9 is, on, 9 is not a factor for 84. When we try 10, we get a remainder of 4. So 10 is not an option. When we try 11, we also get a remainder. So 11 is not a factor. Now that, now that we tried 11, there are no more numbers that we can try since we already know that 12 is a factor and we know that we're not missing any since we went in the descending order so we filled all the gaps. So to organize this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 12, 14, 21, 28, 42, and 84 for our factors of 84. Rounding. Round each number to the nearest thousand. Let's try one. So five hundred for five hundred sixty-two thousand nine hundred nineteen. Two is our thousands, and to the right of two we have nine, and nine is greater than five. So we're going to round up, which gives us five hundred sixty-three thousand. Let's try four. Zero is our digit for the thousands. And to the right, we have one. One is less than five. So we're going to round down, which gives us 690,000. Seven. Nine is our thousands. To the right, we have three. And three is less than five. We're going to round down. We get 259,000 for our answer. Let's try 10. 5 is our thousands. To the right, we have 7. And 7 is greater than 5. So we're going to round up. And we get 516,000. And that is it. Thanks for watching.